Hi friends, in this video we will discuss causality and stability uh, of jet transform. A system is said to be causal and stable in terms of jet transform we are going to discuss. Uh, we already know these two uh, properties uh, in first model. Same thing we are going to express or we are going to discuss in terms of jet T. Uh, yes, uh, first case causality. The condition for a LTS system is to be causal is given as H of N should be equal to 0 for n is less than 0 it is the case for what it is the condition for a system is said to be causal that is here h of n is uh, indicates the unit sample response of the lti system uh, when the sequence is causal its roc is exterior of the circle uh, the lti system is said to be causal uh, it's a uh, chop in in sample response uh, nothing but uh, after taking the jet transform of that that is h of z its roc lies outside the circle of radius so lti system is causal if and only if the roc of the system function is exterior or outside the circle of radius r next is case stability the necessary condition for a system is said to be stable it has to follow bbo bbo means uh, bounded input bounded output bbo it has to follow bobo bbo so the condition for that is summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity h of n which is less than infinity we know that system function is given as h of z equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity h of n uh, multiplied by z to the power minus n. nothing but we apply the z transform for the uh, unit sample response it is the unit sample response after applying the jetty we got this one with the help of definition of jet transform let us take a magnitude on both sides magnitude of h of z equal to magnitude of summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity h of n z to the power minus n uh, we know the one formula that is magnitude of uh, overall sum magnitude of overall sum is less than uh, sum of magnitudes sum of magnitudes of individual terms that is h of z is less than summation will come outside summation n equal to minus infinity plus infinity mod of what magnitude of h of n multiplied by z to the power minus n and separate the, uh, these two terms uh, that is uh, mod of uh, h of z less than n equal to minus infinity plus infinity magnitude of h of n multiplied by magnitude of z to the power minus m h of z is evaluated on the unit circle unit circle means radius is 1 radius is 1 means z equal to 1 z equal to 1 means what happens the above term becomes this term becomes 1 then uh, this equation becomes mod of h of z equal to is less than uh, summation over limits minus infinity plus infinity uh, magnitude of h of n hence the system is bbo stable it has to satisfy this condition summation n equal to minus infinity plus infinity magnitude of h of n which is less than infinity this condition implies that the value of this one after simplifying whatever the value is there that should be less than infinity and it has to evaluate on the unit circle uh, this equation gives the stability condition in terms of jet transform okay thus lti system is bbo stable if and only if the if the roc of the system function includes the unit circle it is the condition for stability now if the combination of these two causal and stable system for the causal system we know that roc of system function h of z is exterior or we can say outside the circle of radius r that one we are going to represent as mod of z is greater than r it indicates roc lies outside the circle of radius r or we can say roc is exterior or greater than is there no nothing, nothing but it indicates exterior or we can say outside the circle of radius r we have so conclude that for stable LTI system, ROC of H of Z must include unit circle. Nothing but must include unit circle means that should be less than 1. Unit circle means radius is 1. That should be lies inside the unit circle means lesser than 1. Include means lesser than. That is R lesser than 1. So it is the combination of both. If the system is said to be causal, it lies exterior or outside the circle of radius R. And if the same system is said to be stable, it has to lies inside a circle of radius 1. Then combination of these two cases we can write for a system 
is to be stable as well as causal it has to satisfy the condition that is mod of z what we should be greater than r but the radius value should be less than one so it is a condition for a system is said to be causal and stable so uh, finally we can say finally for a system finally we can say for a system that is both stable and causal the roc must include unit circle roc must include unit circle and it must be outside the circle outside the circle of radius r alternately we can say for a system to be stable and causal all the poles should lie inside the unit circle in the z plane this is about uh, causality and stability of z transform thank you